Home Care Matters is a weekly focus on health tips, programs, services, and the ever-changing rules and laws administering health care and is brought to you as a public service by the Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice. Now, Home Care Matters. Caring for a person with Alzheimer's disease at home is a difficult task and can become overwhelming at times. Dressing, bathing, eating, these basic activities of daily living often become difficult to manage. Having a plan for getting through the day can help caregivers cope. Through trial and error, you'll find some of the following tips will work for you. Tips for caregivers of Alzheimer's patients. Caring for a person with Alzheimer's disease at home is a difficult task and can become overwhelming at times. Dressing, bathing, eating, these basic activities of daily living often become difficult to manage. Having a plan for getting through the day can help a caregiver cope. One major challenge is communicating with a person who has Alzheimer's disease. Here are some suggestions that might work for you. Choose short, simple words and short sentences and use a gentle and calm tone of voice. Avoid talking to the person with Alzheimer's like a baby or talking about the person as if he or she weren't there. Minimize distractions and noise, such as the television or radio, to help the person focus on what you are saying. Make eye contact and call the person by name, making sure you have his or her attention before speaking. Allow enough time for a response. Be careful not to interrupt. If the person with Alzheimer's is struggling to find a word or communicate a thought, gently try to provide the word he or she is looking for. Try to frame questions and instructions in a positive way. Another major challenge is finding activities that the person with Alzheimer's disease can do and is interested in. Here are a few tips that might be helpful to the caregiver. Build on current skills rather than trying to teach new ones. Don't expect too much. Simple activities are often the best, especially when they use their current abilities. Help the person get started on an activity. Break the activity down into small steps and praise the person for each step he or she completes. Watch for signs of agitation or frustration with an activity. Gently help or distract the person to something else. Incorporate activities the person seems to enjoy into your daily routine and then try to do them at a similar time each day. Try to include the person with Alzheimer's in the entire activity process. For instance, at mealtimes you can encourage the person to help prepare the food, set the table, pull out the chairs, or put away the dishes. This can help maintain functional skills and enhance feelings of personal control. Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice offers the Kearsarge Good Day Respite Program and a monthly caregiver support group, as well as other resources. Please contact us. We're here to help. If you have any questions concerning today's topic, please give me a call or email. Tune in next week when we will be focusing on respite care. I'm Scott Fabry, and let me remind you that at Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice, home care matters. See you next week. Thanks, Scott. Tune in next week to Home Care Matters when he will give us some tips on respite care. Now let's take a look at some of the upcoming happenings in the Kearsage Lake Sunapee Region. Through October 12th, the Banks Gallery in New London has organized the very popular exhibit, Landscapes for Landsake. This year, the exhibit will feature the original oil paintings of selected Osmond Sargent protected properties painted by five well-known local artists, Ron Brown, Grace Cooper, Lisa Jalim, John J. Corrin, and Vicki Corrin. Through Halloween, visit the corn maze at Spring Ledge Farm in New London, three acres and over one and a quarter miles of paths. It's fun for the whole family. More info can be found at springledgefarm.com. Stop by the Fells Historic Site in Newbury for Sculpture at the Fells on display through October 11th, 9 to 5 daily. Don't forget the Warner Fall Foliage Festival. 
Columbus Day weekend starting Friday, October 8th, continuing through Sunday and culminating with the Great Parade at 2 p.m. Check out their website, wfff.org, for more details. If you're a hiker, the SRKG Fall Walkabout is on. This Saturday, October 2nd, has a free guided hike from Kizar Valley Road in Sutton to Wadley State Park on Kizar Lake, 3.5 miles of easy fall hiking. If you want to join the trek, call leader Art Robbins at 603-927-4377. For more event information, log on to the Center for the Arts website at centerforthearts.nh.org. When we come back, we'll join Sean and Arlene Adams for a primer on preparing for a business loan. So, stay with us. <music> <music>